Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, Alcoholics Anonymous is a program of attraction, not promotion. September 1st, thought for the day. Be careful not to brand new prospects as alcoholics. Let them draw their own conclusion. But talk to them about the hopelessness of alcoholism. Tell them exactly what happened to you and how you recovered. Stress the spiritual feature freely. If they are agnostic or atheists, make it emphatic that they do not have to agree with your conception of God. They can choose any conception they like, provided it makes sense to them. The main thing is that they be willing to believe in a power greater than themselves and that they live by spiritual principles. Do I hold back too much in speaking of the spiritual principles of the program? Meditation for the day. I will never leave nor forsake thee. Down through the centuries, thousands have believed in God's constancy, untiringness, and unfailing love. God has love. Then forever you are sure of his love. God has power. Then forever you are sure in every difficulty and temptation of his strength. God has patience. Then always there is one who can never tire. God has understanding. Then always you will understand and be understood. Unless you want him to go, God will never leave you. He is always ready with power. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may feel that God's love will never fail. I pray that I may have confidence in his unfailing power. Alcoholics Anonymous is not a religion, nor is it a religion-based program of recovery. We all find our own concept of a higher power for which we can live. Our problem was our selfishness and our need to control everything and everyone around us. And when we couldn't, of course we couldn't, we were resentful and we drank. Now we are sober because we did the steps and found our higher power. We pass on to others who want it what we have learned. We learned it can do for us what we had been seeking all along. Peace, serenity, and contentment with all we have. When we were brand new in the program, the oldsters asked us if we were alcoholics like them. We diagnose ourselves in AA. Others may have their opinions about whether or not we're alcoholics, but for us alcoholics to recover, we must self-diagnose and concede to our innermost selves that we are alcoholics and can never safely drink again. The program works because we don't judge each other, and we certainly don't judge the newcomer. We take the soft approach. If they want what we have, they will listen and do what we do. We explain openly our experience, strength, and hope, our stories of what it was like, what happened, and what it is like now. We define the problem, and they relate in most cases. Then we share how we hit bottom and stop digging long enough to start the steps, and finally how we had a spiritual awakening as the result. We don't shy away from what happened for us as a result of finding our way into AA. They are free to stay or to go to do more research on their own. And if they stay, great! We are delighted to take them through the process because that is how we stay sober. They don't have to agree with everything we experienced or what our higher power is to us, as long as they are open-minded and willing to be willing to believe in a power greater than themselves. We love all, and if they are not interested in the spiritual solution of our program, we wish them well 
and let them know they are always welcome back if their way doesn't work. Finding a higher power for us was a slow process and has evolved into a trusting relationship that cannot be rushed. We started with a kernel of belief which blossomed into a strong faith that we rely on absolutely. We tell our experience to the newcomer and let them know we are hopeful for them. We share how we had trials and tribulations in our early days, too, as we worked out the kinks of our new way of life. It wasn't that we missed those old days, because they were not good days most of the time, but that was all we knew. It is okay to feel uncomfortable, and now we are comfortable when we face uncomfortable situations because we are on God's team where we know He is the boss, and He has our back. Consider... Alcoholics Anonymous is a program of attraction, not promotion. September 1st, Thought for the Day. Be careful not to brand new prospects as alcoholics. Let them draw their own conclusion. But talk to them about the hopelessness of alcoholism. Tell them exactly what happened to you and how you recovered. Stress the spiritual feature freely. If they are agnostic or atheists, make it emphatic that they do not have to agree with your conception of God. They can choose any conception they like, provided it makes sense to them. The main thing is that they be willing to believe in a power greater than themselves and that they live by spiritual principles. Do I hold back too much in speaking of the spiritual principles of the program? Meditation for the day. I will never leave nor forsake thee. Down through the centuries, Thousands have believed in God's constancy, untiringness, and unfailing love. God has love. Then forever you are sure of His love. God has power. Then forever you are sure, in every difficulty and temptation, of His strength. God has patience. Then always there is one who can never tire. God has understanding. Then always you will understand and be understood. Unless you want him to go, God will never leave you. He is always ready with power. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may feel that God's love will never fail. I pray that I may have confidence in his unfailing power. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.